Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Shaoslaw here, and uh, today I got a free tutorial here for you to check out, and it's how to make this uh, 2D fire effect. Now, um, I came across this thing by accident actually, and uh, I just really like the results because uh, I personally like the 2D look. So, um, you know, I mess around with it, and uh, it looks really, really good. And, and you know, you don't need no third party plugins like Trap Cool Particular. Basically, what I used here was uh, a torch of flame from Action Essentials and you know I added my filters and you know messed around with it and yeah it looks pretty pretty really good so I'm gonna show you how to make this right now yeah so if you're an animator or just like this 2d effect look then uh, they should help you out so to start out with um, I got a new composition here with uh, the Action Essentials uh, torch like I mentioned uh, I'm sure by now you guys know how to create a new comp right so you just go grab your footage you click on it and just uh, drag it down here to create a new comp and that will create a new composition when matching the settings from uh, your footage. Alright so first things first we gotta start naming our layers and uh, on this layer I'm gonna rename it to tor uh, the base right once that's named then like the first thing you need to look for is a filter called refined matte so let's type that in here. Yeah, refine matte. And right away you can see what it does. It kind of like uh, chops up the edges a bit, you know. And that's basically how I discovered this uh, effect. Because, you know, you want that, ch that hard line 2D look. So, you know, I started messing around with uh, the settings. Uh, I'm not going to get into the settings too much. I'm going to let you guys mess around with it to uh, figure it out. Uh, that's pretty much the way you need to learn anyways. So uh, these are the numbers that worked for me. So on feather, I dropped that to 5. Smooth, I left it at 2. I mean the choke, I put it on 35. Then I reduced chatter, I set that down to 0. And then I just got rid of the use motion blur and decontaminate edge colors. Yeah, so basically I just use these three settings here. As you can see, 2, 5, and 35. But like I said, you guys can mess with that. Alright, as you can see, you can see the difference, you know, what I'm doing here. Alright, so the next thing we need is a fill filter. Type that in. Drop that in there, and I'm going to pick kind of like a... I'm going to pick a dark red-orange type of color. All right, that looks good. You know, you can see it's pretty much uh, you know have the hard edges going on. So now we want to duplicate this guy. You know, go to edit, duplicate. So I'll right click and go to rename. And on this layer, I'm gonna just add the word add add layer. Then on this fill color, I pretty much want a more of a lighter reddish orange something more towards the yellows right so set the mode on this layer to add now it doesn't look too impressive but then like uh, we can add a fast blur to it you know repeat edge pixels and then just crank that up a bit and as you can see it starts to add like a, a glow like effect you know, we got the center is kind of has that orange uh, that we pre just you know selected, and the exterior has that dark reddish border, kind of like fire has, anyways. So I'm set this guy to like around 30, 35. Actually, 30. Never mind. Uh, if you want, you guys can mess around with the fast blur settings. Uh, Put this on top of your uh, your hierarchy there. You can see what it does. It creates this interesting little like um, I don't know solid you know interior of the fire, which looks cool. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it like that because I like the glow on it. So you guys can mess with that. Again, just to speed things up, trim it down to three seconds. Do a ramp preview. Yeah, there we go. So it looks pretty smooth, right? 
so we want to make it look more choppy so right click on the tab here gonna go to a composition settings then we're gonna drop the frame rate to 15 and that should drop some frames from the our 24 frames per second uh, footage and that will make it more choppy kinda like a cartoon as you can see here alright so now we're gonna create a new adjustment this is optional but um, I think it's like, it adds to it so rename it CC Victor Blur now just search for the CC Victor Blur in your filters grab it and drop it in there then on the type you want to set it to perpendicular the mount uh, 10 offset angle 90 degrees then the ridge softness let's set that to 40 now the reason why uh, I added like the vector blur is because uh, as you can see hopefully you can see it and if I zoom in here the refined matte created kind of like this rigid you know outline so to smooth it out I use a CC vector blur as you can see here and it makes it a bit smoother right so you know that just smooths the lines out but without it it kind of creates more of a hard edge line so if you want that look then you can skip this part but I like the soft edge look so you know I left my the CC vector blur so I'm gonna create another adjustment layer so right click new adjustment layer and this one is going to be the curve so let's rename it always re always name your layer so you won't get lost so let's, let's get a curves basically here you can adjust the overall look of it I'll increase some reds yeah. it gives the greens a little bit so this is just basically your own personal preference. I'm just, you know, showing you what you can do. Add some contrast here. You know, brighten things up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I like the look of that. So from here, pretty much, uh, since I'm using Action Essentials 2 uh, footage, it already has um, a transparent background as you can see here. So you can render this out as a uh, PNG sequence and you can retain that. Uh, transparent background or if you like what you could do is create a new solid a black solid and use that as a background and having a black solid background actually helps with the colors as you can see here you know you can that change dramatically just by having a solid in the background so kind of creates more of a redder border there so now you can if you want you can just readjust your colors again you know to get the look that you want yeah, let's see more of a contrast and make it seem brighter so once you're happy with this again you know you could just render this as a TIFF sequence for the most part I prefer to work with uh, image sequences right uh, and then you know once you're ready to use this footage obviously set your modes to either add or screen to get rid of the black so there you go that's basically it and uh i really like the look you know use stock footage it's uh, pretty quick don't have to worry about learning trap code particular which is awesome by the way but uh if you're not ready for that or if you don't need it you know you can use this method instead which uh, i think works just as great so yeah hope you like the video Make sure you leave a comment and you'll like it. You know, let me know what you guys think and all that. Another thing I'm working on is a uh, 2D smoke uh, effect, as you can see here. Uh, but I'm gonna leave this for another tutorial because this guy was actually more of a pain in the ass to do so. Anyways, thanks again and take care.